In this video, I will teach you how to draw stylish highlights on your artwork using Ibis Paint X. Welcome to a brand new tutorial video. So in this video, we will learn about what is highlights, how to paint highlights, and few tips and tricks make your work easy. And by the way, our recent videos all reached 100 plus views, and that's great news. I thank you all for watching and supporting, but the likes are very less. So please do like and comment the video and share the video with your friends and help me grow the channel. So with that all being said, let's move on to the editing. So here we are in Ibis Paint X. We have two explosion in the back and our subject in the front. So before we dive into the drawing highlights, let's examine our subject a bit. So what is a highlight? Highlights are the hard light that hits on the edge like this, which means these white area is highlights on our subject. And that's one of the main reason I choose this image, because it will be easy to make you guys understand. And it will be an easy guide for you to paint highlights while you practice. So what we're gonna do is, Instead of this white highlights, we're gonna change it to these two colors. First, let's make it a bit more glowing. And for that, we're gonna create a new layer. Now we're gonna change its blending mode. And one thing to be noted is that normally people say use linear dodge, but I use add for glowing. And it's totally up to you to choose which mode to use. So right now, I'm setting it to add mode. Now, select the color and use the airbrush and adjust its size and opacity and softly tap on the area you want the glow. We don't want it too much. Just softly tap and give a nice glow. Once we're done with that, next is the highlights. And for that, create a new layer and clip it to our subject. And we need to change the blending mode. And here also, it's all up to you to choose white mode because for me, I use different blend modes according to the image. Sometimes add soft light, hard light, and overlay. But for hard highlights, I use add mode. And we're gonna use that mode for this image. Now, select the color. And yeah, don't ever do this. Please, I beg you all, don't ever paint highlights like this. It's a big no. Instead, paint it like this, on the edge. And since you can see the white highlights, it's easy for you to practice. We need to paint the area where the light would hit on our subject. Paint it and adjust the opacity if you want and erase the area which you don't need. This would take a lot of time and it's really worth it. So take your time and paint highlights. And I know most of you guys may have a doubt where to actually paint the highlights. Well, that all depends on your observations. Just look around and see how the light works. How would the light hit on an object and where all and how the highlights will be. Now, once we're done with that, we're gonna create new layer and change its blending mode to overlay. And for this one, I will only suggest you to use overlay mode. And now, softly paint it on this side like this. And we will get that nice glow look. And while we use overlay blending mode, it won't affect on the darker area and not make it look flat. Now that we learned what is highlights and how to draw highlights, now I will give you some tips and tricks, sometimes. We have to draw straight highlights, and since it's straight, won't be able to get that straight line. So for that, we can use drawing tools. Each have different uses. Now if we look here, we have polyline, which will help us drawing straight lines and right next to it, the zir curve. And as the name says, we can draw curves with it. Select one and click where you want to start and click the end. You want it to stop and you can adjust the size and opacity as well. And also you can change its direction like this as well. Now, tip number two. Once we paint our highlights and it all came out well, but then the color don't match. So for that, go to filter and use hue saturation lightness where you can change the color to your wish and adjust its saturation and lightness. And once you all done, do a color grading and the final image will look like this. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, then please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to share my channel with your friends.
So see you in another video. Bye.